Hello everyone, welcome again and uh, we are going to continue the Java web development series and uh, we already created the project and some tasks already. We are using MBC architecture and Maven tool and STS tool as an IDE to develop the application. So until in last tutorials we have developed the, some applic the application like uh, username and uh, sorry registration and login activity we finish already so i'm going to show you a demo before uh, continue or going in a next tutorial and next step so until we created the registration form and connectivity with the database and uh, login form as well so i'm going to show you how we can register a new user like uh, my username is demo user and the password is one two three and uh, one two three and email will be demo user at the rate gmail.com and i'm going to sign up this so you can see the demo welcome demo user the application is registered successfully so in the database uh, in the user table you can see the new entry here uh, now I'm going to log in with the same user so when I'm going to log in this demo user the password is 123 showing me the welcome message right uh, the login is welcome login is successfully and if I'm trying to log in with uh, unknown password it will show me a message wrong username or password right we are going to continue this uh, when user going to click on this uh, welcome.jsp uh, login user going to uh, successfully login when there will be a link which is set to user to log out and uh, so for that we need to use session in the application so how to use session simply inside this uh, login.java servlet you need to create a session and inside this login.jsp you need to invalidate the session so simply create i created that logout.jsv file so if you don't know how to create you can watch the previous videos or uh, uh, it will be very helpful for you uh, once um, watch that previous video so you will easily understand how to create that complete project structure and the registration page database connectivity login page data verification everything so before this you need to watch the previous videos so now create the session so we need we have an interface like uh, http session and here create a session session equals to request dot get session here i'm going to create a session because uh, i'm if after the successful result uh, when username and password is matched with the data database so uh, it will redirect on the welcome.jsp but before that we need to generate a session and here we will generate the session inside the logout.jsp we will invalidate the session so simply create the session instance and then you need to create session dot uh, set attribute you need to set attribute here there is a two parameter the first one is a string the the name of your session so my name is email so i because i am passing the email value in my next argument so both parameter will be a string and you need to pass here the name of session and here you need to pass the value of session so my value is email and name is email and uh, here after this user will go in a welcome.jsp here i'm going to validate the uh, uh, I, I i want to welcome the user so i want to get the name of that particular user so how to get a uh, name by the session so just enter a scriptlet take and inside this take i want an email so the string email equals to you need to typecast it so string a string and uh, you need to create that request dot get attribute and uh, you need to pass the email here the exact string the exact string which is you are using in this uh, which you are passing here so here is also email and here is also email 
so uh, now we are going to welcome user with uh, this email name so here we can print the email so percent again need to see use the scriptlet tag and here you can print like out dot print line and uh, here you need to pass the string email let's terminate this now see the demo again and uh, here when I'm going to uh, reload the page and again going to log in with user so you can see there is a null value I need to restart the server again to create a session so I'm going to run it again application will be running okay so I'm going to run it in real time also so here you can see the sdf that it's gmail.com and 123 will be password when I click something is going wrong here I need to check again get an email emails so don't get session sorry here I need to use that session <coughs> what object we create we created that object by session name and again I need to use that session dot get attribute by email and now this time it will work for anything so I'm going to reload it again here you can see the welcome sj that is gmail.com what happened here uh, when we created the session the email value the value of email is stored in that session and when at the time of calling session it will printing the value right so now <coughs> I need to create a link here so I already created that link again I want to create the link in anchor tag href inside this I want to call logout.jsp here not getting the link okay logout this time you will see the link here when user is going to click this logout it will redirecting on the logout.jsp log so what we can do we can again call the session and we can say session invalidate I'm going to invalidate the session object here Done. or again we can create a link here href index.jsp so it will redirect to the user at home page so just click on this right here so this time when I log it so you can see the logout to JSP. It means session is invalidate, and I'm going to again uh, redirect on the home page. So, all for your clarification, you can say here a message like h1 in h1 take. Logout successfully. So you reload it again and just pass the login credential. Login. You can see welcome SD when I click on logout. So logout successfully and just redirect it again. So by this you can use the session and you can make the application as a login and logout activity in the application. And until we have done with registration page, login activity, registration activity, database connectivity, complete MBC architecture and this tutorial you have seen like how to create a sessions and how to deal with session, how to create a session in servlet as well as uh, uh, JSP. Here I am using as a servlet and this servlet we are creating a session here and before redirecting and in here inside this 
welcome.jsp and logout.jsp we are creating session we are getting the session value in mm. we are getting the value and uh, by the session so simply for getting the value you just need to use the get attribute method and to log out you just need to invalidate method and to create you just need to create an instance to request.get session and the set attribute you need to pass the value here and you can create multiple sessions in a single application it will easy uh, you need to just change the session name here or uh, in next tutorial we will see how to pass the query string value like if you want to pass a value from one JSP page uh, to other JSP page like this page is redirecting on welcome.jsp but I want to pass the a value like username or password something so how can I pass that value in next page uh, so how can we get the value in next page and uh, use that uh, particular variable value or something so thank you so much for watching if you like subscribe the channel and the previous all the links of the previous videos in this series i will provide in the description box you can watch that videos so if you are getting any difficulty to configure this and any kind of difficulty uh, difficulty you can comment to me i will try to help you